All righty. It's time to get the party started. Microphone check one, two. Yeah, yeah. What you gonna do? credibuilder.us and that's how we do it. Ha. All right. Thank you everybody for coming. My name is Noel Booker. I'm the CEO at businesscreditbuilder.us LLC. Um, today we're going to talk about how to get $250,000 in business credit for your EIN that is not linked to your social security number and easily get business loans and credit lines, all right? So whoever's in the room and you can hear me, this is what I want you to do. I want you to find the chat box and put your name and the type of business that you do, all right? Get, get y'all in the check-ins, <laughs> all right? So do that for me. And then I'm a, while y'all do that, I'm gonna share my screen so y'all can see my the layout. All right. So we're gonna do that like that. Boom. Okay. Now we rock that. All right, Peachy, tell me how we looking. All right. All right, bet. Okay, who we got up in the building here? Rachel, um, we got Omari, he's into real estate, renting and leasing, he's a big, real estate mogul out this piece. We got Chris James, he's got a tax office, valet company and an Air, Airbnb. Oh, he's making them moves. Uh, this is, I can hardly see. Uh, Rachel, your uh, blog site. You got a blog site and also sell merchandise as well. I ain't mad at you. All right, and Vince, he does the t-shirts. He got he got that national t-shirt thing popping. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, so, all right. Thank y'all for uh, joining us. Um, this webinar is entitled, How to Get $250,000 in Business Credit for Your EIN that's not linked to your social security number and easily get business loans and credit lines. Okay. <clears throat> this is what you need to know before we start. I'm going to be going fast. So hopefully you got your notepad, your pen, you can take, take some notes, right? Then there's going to be intervals where I'm going to ask if you have any questions. Y'all can type the questions in the chat box or at the appropriate time, y'all can open up your mics and ask questions. This is the only time of the week that I ask questions for the free. <laughs> All right, all right, so let's get it. My name is Noel A. Booker Sr. I'm the CEO at businesscreditbuilder.us LLC. And there goes my contact information. There's two buttons on the bottom. 
The first bot button is how to get your free guide on how to build business credit. You get your free guide at my website, businesscreditbuilder.us slash free guide. And um, there's another, the next button is free business credit consultation. And that's at my website slash consult, all right? And that's how you contact me to talk about the products that I provide in helping you build business credit and access loans and credit lines. Okay, so <clears throat> just to give you a little background on me, who I am, right? Um, I was born in New York. I came to Georgia to go to Morehouse. I studied accounting. My first job out of Morehouse was at the Ritz Carlton Hotel Company. Um, I worked at the um, corporate office and I worked there for a few years and then they laid me off, right? So then I got me another accounting job, right? And they laid me off too, right? <laughs> but I've always been entrepreneurial and I started a company called MediaNet USA. Inc. Okay. Um, and at MediaNet USA, what we do is we do um, accounting and bookkeeping services for small businesses. We develop websites for small businesses. And now we talk about business credit. And how I got to talk about business credit is this. Y'all got to know this story, right? So I got a client named Jay. Jay has a freight company and I'm working for Jay doing accounting, right? And he also had me doing websites for his companies and some of his clients' companies. And I noticed every time I did a website, $250,000 hit the bank, okay? So I said, Jay, Yo, I need to make some money, yo. Uh, can you find something for me to do, sir? <laughs> and he said, this is what you do. Find a company. We're going to do a deal with this company. And you can make money on the deal. I said, okay, let's run that. So I got my boy named Philly Phil. Philly Phil had this company that he was sitting on. He wasn't doing nothing with this company. I told him what I was seeing. He said, all right, let's try it. So... Jay had me do the same stuff he had me do before. Set up the website, make sure the contact information was right. Long story short, me and Philly Phil walked in the, cre in the Chrysler and got, we had a credit limit of $250,000. We walked out of that joint with four brand new vans that we run on Amazon now, you know, doing Amazon Prime deliveries. Okay, so and we did this without a personal credit check. So I know business credit works. Okay, but Jay never taught me this. He never taught me how to, how he was making it happen. You know, we we don't be sharing information out here. So I had to go find the information myself. All right, and that's why I'm out here talking to y'all because people don't share information. You know what I mean? And we just need to know this so we can pass this type of information down to our people. All right. Okay. What we will cover today, how you can build business credit within seven days or less that's linked to your EIN number, not your social, even if you are startup or you have bad personal credit now, then immediately start using it to get the credit you want and need from major vendors like Target, Walmart, Staples, Lowe's, Visa, MasterCard, and more. How you can access loans, even as a startup, have credit challenges or lack collateral. All right. Most people fail trying to get money and grow their business. Most people try to get money from the bank when they need money. Tis, tis, tis. Um, most don't know that EIN credit can be built regardless of personal credit quality. 
many apply for credit in the wrong order. Okay, you know, you know my saying about that, right? Business building business credit is a step by step process. Each step is needed for the next step. You cannot skip a step. All right. Many entrepreneurs don't know that money is available based on business strengths. Okay, this seminar is for you. If you're looking for money to start or grow a business, or you want to build business credit that's not linked to your social, then this webinar is for you. <clears throat> okay. Well, what is business credit? Business credit is credit that is obtained in a business name, okay? With business credit, the business builds its own credit profile and credit score for its EIN number. This credit is in the business name and based on the business's ability to pay, not the business owners. The business can qualify for revolving store credit like Staple, Lowe's, Sam's Club, Costco, and more. <clears throat> okay, this is why business credit is awesome. All right. Also, check out my hashtag business credit is real. Okay. Business credit has no effect on your personal credit. Um, there is no personal guarantee needed to build business credit. Business credit building is fast as hell <laughs> compared to personal credit. <laughs> Anyone can see your business credit reports. With business credit, you get greater borrowing ability, okay? And there is no collateral cash flow or good credit needed to build business credit. Okay. And with business credit, you can access loans and credit lines. <clears throat> Every successful business in America has business credit. See, this is how business is done. Okay. So what you see now is what anybody can see for free. Okay you would go to the Experian website and there's a place where you can put your business name and address in and you can get information like this. This is for Facebook Incorporated. They're in Menlo Park, California. And the part that I want to bring to your attention is the trade lines. You see that right there, trade lines? That's what I want you to focus in on, okay? Uh, I'm going to give you an, a description of what trade lines is just so that we're on the same page, okay? Just so that we're on the same page, okay? This is what a trade line is. A trade line is when you go to a company and they give you a credit account. You go and buy something on credit, right? So now you got the item. You didn't pay for it yet, right? So then it comes the time where you got to pay for this item. So what happens when you pay this item, this company sends a report to the business credit reporting agencies. This report says XYZ company, they got an account with us. Uh, we gave them such and such amount of limit to spend with us. They made a purchase and they paid it off in X amount of days. And they take that information, they send it to the business credit report, reporting agencies and business credit reporting agencies puts that on your credit report. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one trade line. And we can see if y'all got any questions about what a trade line is now. Let's get that out the way. Anybody got any questions? Because I want you to know this because this is the basis for building up business credit, knowing what a trade line is. 
So any any questions on that right there? We good? All right. We good. All right. Cool. All right. No messages in there or something? All right. All right. Cool. Back. Okay. So this right here is Microsoft. They're in Redmond, Washington, and they have 131 trade lines. You see that? Okay. And Walmart. Now, Walmart, 80% of all the money that Walmart takes in comes from business credit. And this is how they do it. They go to Bounty. They say, yo, Bounty, let me get a truckload of toilet paper. Now the owner of Walmart, he don't go in his pocket. He don't even call the accounting department, okay? He, the, the, the truckload shows up they put the toilet paper on the shelf and we buy, it, right? We go in there and buy the toilet paper. Then Walmart takes our money and pays the bill. And Bounty says, hey, you did that good. Here's five truckloads of toilet paper. And they do that. 513 times over and over and over again. This is how business is done, okay? At the big corporate level and at the small business level, at the corner store, when the bread delivery comes in, they just count how many units are coming in and how many units are going out, if you notice how that runs, all right? or unless they messed up their credit, <laughs> then they gotta pay for it on the spot, right? But in general, they just count the units that's coming in, count the units that's going out. It's on business credit. Big companies, little companies. This is how business is done, okay? How we can help. Business credit builder. We show you how to make your business credible in the eyes of the lender. Our high tech software helps you build your business credit to access high limit store credit, business loans and credit lines. We work with all legitimate types of funding programs that are available today, offering funding through hundreds of investors and lenders through a multitude of different funding programs, okay? All right, let's get down to business. How do you build business credit? All right. Fundability. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna get down to real business now. Fundability. As a business owner, you may be beginning to hear the word fundability a lot. It may come from lenders, various media platforms, or your own current creditors. What is fundability? The ability of your business to get funding. When lenders consider funding your business, does it appear to them to be a good idea to make the loan? What do they look at to make that determination? How does a business become fundable? When a lender considers lending to your business, do they feel that you are a high risk? Do you appear to be a business that can and will pay the debt? Lenders are in it for the money. So notice, I say that you have to appear to be like, to be a business that can pay the debt. You don't have to be a business that can pay you back. You just have to appear to be a business that can pay it back, okay? Okay, how does a business get fundability? How does a business become fundable? To start, you have to make sure your business is set up properly, okay? A great business credit score is important. In addition, there are many other aspects that are necessary for fundability as well. Okay, a potential creditor needs to see that your business is legitimate 
and profitable. Many loan applications are denied approval due to fraud concerns. Others simply because something didn't match up and threw up a red flag. Maybe the addresses or the phone numbers didn't match up on a couple of the reports and it just looks unprofessional. See, everything gotta line up. The information is key to making it look like you can pay a bill, okay? If you understand what fundability is and how to get it, you can shut down any such red flags before they cause you problems. Okay, the foundation of fundability is in how your business is set up. It has to be set up to appear to be a fundable entity separate from you, the owner, okay? So these are the basic major components. Business name, business address, business phone, EIN number, DUNS number, website, business email, okay? All of these things you need to have in place to get that thing popping. Okay, contact info. The first step in setting up found up a foundation of fundability is to ensure your business has its own business phone number, fax number, toll free business address. Okay, this is the rundown, right? <clears throat> you need a business phone number, necessary. Necessary to have a business phone number. This phone number needs to be a local telephone number and it must be listed with the National 411 directory. Having a fax number and a toll free number, that's not so necessary, okay? But if you got this local number <clears throat> and then you have this fax number and then you got this toll free number, now you're looking like a credible business, more like a credible business, should I say. Now you're looking a little bit better, all right? But what is necessary is that local number listed with the National 401 Directory, okay? You must have a business address, all right? There's three options to the business address. The three options are a um, brick and mortar, right? You need a brick and mortar, which is a storefront, but you know, that's expensive. Not everybody could do that, right? Understandable, okay? So the second option is a virtual address. There are many companies all over the world, every city that offer virtual office products, right? But what you need for business credit is this virtual address for as low as $50 a month, okay? Uh, and the third option and the last resort is your home address. And the reason why I say the home address is your last resort is because creditors and lenders do not perceive home-based businesses as being credible. But nowadays, they are thinking that some home businesses um, can pay the bill, okay? Because it's all about making it look like you can pay a bill, right? So in this situation, they do this on a case-by-case -case basis. So like say you're a hairstylist, well, maybe you could go ahead and pay that bill doing hair from the crib. But on the other hand, if you are a trucking company, maybe you can't keep all those trucks at the house, okay? So they're trying to see if this makes sense. Does this make sense? Are they trying to get me, <laughs> right? So, and also here's a good information to know is that on your Dun & Bradstreet credit report is a Google Maps picture of your business address. So they're looking right at your spot, all right? They're looking right at the spot, all right? So that's what you need to know. For your business address, 
you cannot use a PO box. You cannot use a UPS address. The reason why is that on the application, when you've got the address portion, they're actually doing something to every field that's on that application, right? So on the address portion of this application, what they are doing is looking up a database of all PO boxes and all UPS addresses. And if your address matches up to one of them, they can deny you and they do not have to tell you why. All right? So brick and mortar, virtual address, home address. There's no other options for selecting your business address. That's it right there, All right? Okay, so this is my go-to for telephone, right? Any one of these companies will set you up a telephone number for your business properly. Uh, Freedom Voice, Ring Central, and Vonage. But my go-to is Freedom Voice. The reason why Freedom Voice is because they'll give you a local telephone number for $9.99 per month. And they will list it for $3 a month. Okay? So I figured out that I got to spend at least $13 a month. Okay? Um, Freedom Voice will also give you an 800 number and a fax number for under $20 a month. Okay? Ring Central and Vonage will start you out at $25. And uh, so I did the research for you already. All right. And you can find out more information about that at businesscreditbuilder.us slash vendors. All right. Okay. Da Vinci Virtual Office Solutions. That's where I recommend you get your business virtual address. Okay, um, and you can go and get the instructions on how to purchase this product at businesscreditbuilder.us slash vendors, okay? Um, on that page is a explicit instructions on how to get this product. There's a telephone number to call, there's a person to ask for, and there's a verbiage on how to order this product correctly, all right? So I wanna make sure you do this right the first time and don't have to go back up and stuff, right? So that's what you need to know. Okay. EIN number. I don't usually spend a lot of time on the EIN number because a lot of you already know what an EIN number is. But I'm gonna let you know what you need to know. You need to know that you need an EIN number to build business credit. And you need to know that the EIN number is free. Okay? It's free. So don't pay for your EIN number. You go to irs.gov, fill it out 15 minutes. You get your EIN number right there on the spot. All right? That's what you need to know. Okay. Um, you got to incorporate. You have to incorporate your business name. And all this is is just reserving your name in the state you reside so nobody else could use your name. That's all this is. And so you reserve your name, which is called incorporating, all right? And you go to the Secretary of State in the state that you reside in. In Georgia, it costs $100. In Florida, it costs about 235, New York about 250, and California, it costs about $800 to incorporate. All right? So a lot of people that are in uh, California, they go over to Nevada and um, start their corporations in some instances. Okay? Um, when you get your name, your business name, they're gonna ask you to select an entity. 
in order to separate your business liability from your personal liability, you must use for your entity limited liability corporation or corporation. If you choose a proprietorship or a partnership as your entity, then you will be personally liable for anything that happens with this business. Okay, bank account. You need a business bank account. A lot of vendors will not give you credit unless you have a bank account. And with your bank account, you can keep your business expenses separate from your personal expenses for tax purposes. Okay, so make sure you get the business bank account. Once you have the certificate from the Secretary of State for your name, and you have an EIN number, then you can go get a bank account, okay? Okay, licenses. What is fundability? It is being a legitimate business. For a business to be legitimate, it has to have all the necessary licenses and it needs to operate. Most common mistakes is having the appropriate license, but with an old address, okay? That's a red flag. Do the research you need um, to do to ensure you have all the licenses necessary to legitimately run your business at the federal, state, and local levels. Okay. All right. Business website. Lenders and creditors will deny you if you don't have a website. Spend the time and money necessary to ensure that your website is professionally designed and works well. Your business needs a dedicated business email address. Make sure it has the same URL as your website. Don't use a free service such as Yahoo or Gmail. All right? Don't do it. All right? So the email, right? Um, it should be your name at yourbusinessname.com. So you use the same URL that you have for your website, okay? Creditors do not want to see you communicating with them as a business with a free email account. It looks unprofessional, right? So if they're dealing with a business, they want to see you doing communicating with your business email. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, I offer the um, websites, right, for this particular purpose, all right? Um, I have the small business web hosting package, which is an all-inclusive type of situation is designed so that you the business owner can go do business and i'm just gonna handle all your website needs you don't have to worry about it all right so it includes domain registration 12 months web hosting website design monthly updates unlimited emails expert customer support internet consultation okay so you can contact me, you can schedule a consult to contact me about building your website and making sure that you have an international presence, okay? Okay, what is fundability? Business credit reports, okay? You need to understand the importance of your business credit reports and how to read them. The business credit reports or, or your, is the blueprint for tracking your trade lines, okay? Most, um, most popular business reporting agencies are Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, Equifax, and FICO SBSS. 
Now the FICO SBSS, that's for like when you are applying for an SBA loan, all right? That's what they're gonna look at if you apply for an SBA loan, okay? But Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, and Equifax are the key major players. You can find out if you have a, an, a report at any of these business credit reporting agencies by going to my website slash reports, all right? There's a place, there'll be a link to these respective agencies to a place on their website where you can put your business name in and your address. And it'll tell you if there's a report for you already. If there is a report for you, then your name will come up with your address. And it may tell you if you have trade lines or not. But that's all you can get for free. You can get that information for free, all right? So you go to go to my my website slash reports, okay. Okay. In addition to the business credit reporting agencies that directly calculate and issue credit reports, there are other business data agencies that affect those reports indirectly. LexisNexis. The Small Business Finance Exchange, look them up, all right? These two agencies gather data from a variety of sources, including public records. This means they could even have access to information relating to automobile accidents, liens, and more. While you may not be able to access or change the data the agencies have on your business, you can ensure that any new information they receive is positive. And the positive information can help counteract any negative information from the past, okay? Okay, in addition to the EIN number, there are identifying numbers that go along with your business credit reports. When considering what is fundability, you need to be aware that these numbers exist. Some of them are simply assigned by the agency, like the Experian bin, okay? So with Experian, when you make a payment to a company that reports to Experian, then they will assign you a bin number. Well, that's what it is. It's a bin, Experian bin, all right? It's the business identification number, all right? They assign you that number. But at Dun & Bradstreet, you have to apply for the Dun's number. They don't issue that automatically. You have to apply for the Dun's number. All right. And the Dunn's number is a number that is issued by Dun and Bradstreet that identifies your business directly related to the address. Okay. And they got a website, um, dnb.com. All right. Okay. What is fundability? Business credit history, well, personal credit history, that's what it should say. Your credit history has everything to do with everything related to your credit score, which is a huge factor in fundability of your business. Your credit, re your credit history consists of a number of things, including how many accounts are reporting payments, how long have you had each account, what type of accounts are they? How much credit are you using on each account versus how much credit is available? Are you making your payments on, on these accounts consistently on time? Okay. Um, 
Now, you can get funding and build business credit without having good personal credit. But if you have good business credit and you have good personal credit, then you are more fundable. You have more options, okay? You can get better rates and terms, okay? So that's why I talk about this is because we're talking about fundability and how fundable your business is. So if you just have business credit, your, your fundability is limited, right? You can get some money, you can access some money, you can do what you need to do piece by piece, right? But if you have good personal credit, it opens your options. You are more fundable. The more accounts you have reporting on time payments, the stronger your credit score will be. Assign your business information, align your business information correctly. All right, this is the key piece, right? Um, this is a problem because a ton of loan applications are turned down each year due to fraud concerns simply because things do not match up. Um, your exact business legal name needs to be listed exactly the same any place your business name is listed, period. The spelling has to match up exactly. No abbreviations. Any place you put your business name. Your business address has to be lined up exactly. And this is, you take your business name and your address, how it is spelled on your secretary of state certificate, okay? Because that's what they're gonna be looking at. They're gonna go look at the database at the secretary of state to see if you are a legitimate business. And that's where they're going to check that, okay? Um, your business phone number. When you list your business telephone number, your address is included, okay? That has to be correct, okay? Um, when you got your, IR, your, your EIN number, your address is included. This has to line up, all right? This has to be exactly as what's on your Secretary of State, okay? On your insurance, your licenses, your website, your bank account, all of these need to have your address correct. No doubt, all right? The key to this piece of fundability is to monitor your credit reports frequently. When it comes to business credit reports, you can monitor them through the reporting agencies directly, or you can save money when you have my company help you build your business credit. So when you go to each of these business credit reporting agencies to get a credit report from them, they can charge you about $100 per month for your report from each one of them, okay? When you build business credit with Business Credit Builder, we charge you $25 per month and you get all three reports, okay? So we save you a little bit of money there, all right? Okay, both your personal and business tax, tax returns need to be in order. Not only that, but you need to be paying your taxes and both your business and personal, okay? Business financials, a fundable business maintains financials monthly, quarterly, or yearly. Having financials on demand lends credence to the legitimacy of your business. So a fundable business has financials on deck, all right? That's just how it is. A fundable business has financials and tax returns on deck, right? And that means easily available, <laughs> all right? All right, personal tax returns. 
often tax returns for for the previous three years are will suffice. Get a tax professional to prepare them. This is the bare minimum you will need. Other information lenders may ask for include check stubs and bank statements, among other things. We got a tax professional in here right now. Chris James, stand up. Ha! All right. And I also do the taxes. I also do um, financials and all the paperwork that you might need. Holler at me. I'll make sure you looking right. All right. All right. Okay. There are several other agencies that hold information related to your personal finances that you need to be aware of. Okay. There is the FICO score. All right. You know about that. Um, there's check systems. Okay. You know what that's about. That's if, if you wrote a bad check, now you're listed at check systems. Um, if you've ever been convicted of a crime, that's shareable information. Um, if you have a bankruptcy, a short sale, or UCC filings, all of these things will affect your fundability. You just need to be aware of that situation, all right? So all of this can and will play into the fundability of your business. Okay, so much plays into that that you may not even think about. How fundable are you? Contact information consistent. Choose, the, choose lending products that is best for your business. Do you need a traditional loan or a line of credit? See, there's different pros and cons to each one of these, okay? So picking the correct um, loan or um, a product will affect your fundability, okay? Um, would a working capital loan or an expansion loan for your business work best for you, okay? Choosing the right product to apply for can make all the difference. So when you build credit with Business Credit Builder, our finance team will work, walk you through your available options. And they will suggest to you the ones that work best for you. But they'll give you all the options so you can decide which one is best for you, okay? Okay, so it's pretty complicated, this fundability thing, because there's a lot of missing, there's a lot of loose ends in there, right? So this is a chart that explains all of the things that are involved with your fundability, all right? On the left-hand side, you got your credibility. What industry you're in affects your fundability, okay? Um, your business name, your business phone, um, your business bank account, the entity that you're in, your EIN number, all of that stuff affects your fundability. And on the right-hand side, there's all these application process stuff, your application, how you fill out your application, um, your personal credit history, all that stuff, data agency, um, also your business credit reports. So everything that's on your business credit reports are definitely will definitely affect your fundability, okay? Let's stop for a moment and see uh, if y'all got some questions before we go to the next step. Any questions? Y'all are a quiet bunch. All right, run it, Rachel, what you got? You got something? You can open up your mic or you can type it. Hi, hello. Hey, Rachel. Hey, so I, I'm the one that said I have a blog site and um, I sell my merchandise for my blog site online. All right. So with that, I know you said that um, to get the business funding and stuff, as far as like for startup capital. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's my daughter. One second. Nora, stop. Okay. Girl, Shh. you gotta be quiet, girl. 
sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. But, um, but yeah, so for me, I know like all of my stuff is through, I have like an Etsy page that I sell most of my things on, like my merchandise. Okay, you got a what page you said? An Etsy page. So it's like an- Okay, Etsy. Etsy. Okay, I got you. Go ahead. So I know you said I would need like more of a credible website before even thinking about applying for capital, like um, startup yeah. funds or- Well, in your situation here, you put you upload your products to Etsy and you sell your stuff on there, right? Yes. Okay, so so what you need is a website that you can link to your Etsy so that when lenders do research on you, they find your main website. Okay. With your main contact information. You just happen to do business at Etsy. So on your main website, you're linked to your Epsi joint. Okay, got you. Okay. Yes, thank you. All right, all right. I'm glad I'm able to help. Thank you for that question though. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, yeah. any more questions before we move forward? I wanna give you all a chance to, uh, to rack my brain on this stuff. All right. Okay, here we go. Wait, no, sorry, oh, it's me again. Ahead. One question. One more question. Go ahead, run it. So, um, again, for um the business funding for capital as well. Okay, so I know you said uh, once I have the website, I link it to my Etsy. It you know, it shows like credibility. Does it matter as far as like a time length? Does it? Is there a time length on it? Like, oh, you've had to have this for a year, or you've had to have this for six months? No, no, no. The time limit comes in when they want to see how long you've actually been in business. Okay. Not, not how long your website been up. Gotcha. And they actually determine how long you've been in business by the date you started your bank account. Oh, not, okay. not the date that you signed up at the Secretary of State. Okay. So that's how they determine how long you've been in business. Oh, wow. Gotcha. All Thanks. right. That's some good info to, to know right there. Okay. So, so far we talked about um, setting up your business credibly in the eyes of the lender. We also talked about understanding the importance of having access to your business credit reports. All right. Now we're going to actually start building business credit. And we do that with vendor accounts that I also call net 30 accounts, okay? Net 30 accounts is when companies will give you a little bit of credit, right? And when, they, when you buy something on credit, you have to pay the total balance in 30 days, okay? 30 days, you gotta pay the total balance in 30 days, hence the term net 30, okay? A business credit report can be started much the same as a consumer report commonly is with small amounts of credit. The business can be approved for small credit amounts to help them build an initial credit profile. These types of initial accounts in the business world are commonly referred to as vendor credit or net 30 accounts. And some vendors will approve your company for net 30 payment term upon verification of as little as an EIN number and a 411 listing, okay? And I told you all about that already. Here is a vendor who will approve you for initial credit even if you have none now. Strategic Network Solutions. This company I use every single time I'm starting to build business credit for a client or my own companies, okay? Strategic Network Solutions. You can find the information at my website slash vendors. And there's a promo code, actually an affiliate code all right, use that affiliate code, all right, to set up your account. 
Um, also on that page, the vendors page, is another company that's called Suma Office Supplies. Okay? So the, that's two vendors right there that you can rock as net 30. And the, the idea about these accounts that we're getting here, these starter vendors, is that we are creating a credit profile because we have none now. We have no business credit. We're creating our business credit profile with these net 30 accounts, okay? So these net 30 accounts are necessary to go to the next step, okay? Some vendors will require an initial prepaid order before they can approve your business for terms. You need to have a total of at least five net 30 day pay accounts reporting. You need five of these net 30 joints, <laughs> all right? That's why I got this car. You see the car? The car got the number five on it. You see the smoke? But check out his face. He's like, yo, I got credit. We rolled him, all right? So you need these net 30 accounts to go to the next step, like homeboy. All right. After five trade lines are established using vendor accounts, obtaining revolving accounts is the next step. Revolving accounts are cards a business owner can use and not be required to pay the full balance owed each month. They give you a minimum amount to pay each month, okay? And these revolving accounts are the, these are the accounts that you wanna have but you can't skip steps and just run over here to the, to the revolving accounts because they need you to have credit already, all right? That's why you need to get those five set up first. It sets up your business credit profile. And then you can get revolving accounts, okay? Most major retail stores do offer credit building, including business credit, including Home Depot, Lowe's, Office Depot, Staples, Best Buy, Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, Amazon, Dell, Apple, BP, Chevron, Racetrack, and many others, okay? So no skipping steps to get to this step. And see some companies, this is all they need to operate or get started, it's like, so for some companies, all they need is a, a gas car so they can get their truck up the block, right? Um, other companies might be able to use this stuff, like say you're a home flipper, like, um, like, like Chris, he could use this to rebuild his Airbnbs or what was homeboy's name that's into real estate. Um, Omari, he could use this to rehab his spots, right? So like with business credit, your, your score is 100% driven on how you pay your bill, okay? Um, with personal credit, there's five factors that affect your, your, your personal credit score. But with business credit, there's only one factor, and that's how you pay your bill, which means somebody that's a home flipper or renovating their property or something, they can go to Home Depot, get a card, get a whole bunch of wood, use up the whole balance, and if you pay the bill on time, it doesn't affect your, your, your credit. But if you're a home flipper and you need to go get a whole bunch of wood and use up your whole balance on your personal card, your credit's going down, okay? And you don't wanna use your personal credit. You wanna use business credit so that you free up your personal credit for personal things that you need to get. And then for your business credit, you use that for your business, okay? So you don't wanna use up your personal credit to do your business, all right? 
that's where we make, well, a lot of us make that mistake, all right? Sometimes we have to make that mistake. But if you know about business credit, it gives you an option not to have to make that mistake. Okay. Once 10 accounts are on the credit, then a business owner can then start applying for Visa, MasterCard, American Express, cash money cards, I call them, because you can get credit cards that you can just use as straight cash that you can use for down payments on properties, okay? You can use to buy merchandise that you resell, um, um, vents for t-shirts, okay? So this is where you leverage and don't have to use your personal money to do business. A lot of us have to use our personal money to be able to start our business. This is how you use other people's money to start your business and, 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 and pay these expenses that you need to operate. See, out here in the business world, the, uh, the, the millionaires that are out there, that are entrepreneurs, they never use their own money, all right? They always use somebody else's money and they don't mind paying a little interest for the use of that money. Because if you use your money and it doesn't work, guess what? You out that money, <laughs> right? You just out that money. But if you use somebody else's money, they can only come to, to get that money, they can only come to your business. They can't come to you personally. That's an uh, advanced one right there, all right? Um, approval amounts for these type of credit cards will be equivalent to the highest credit limit accounts on the business report. Try to have 10 accounts with at least one of them having a high 10 credit limit. So how you do that is you ask the vendors to increase your limit. So when you get these revolving accounts, you pick one of them that you're gonna use more often. And then when they see that you made three payments on time, then you can call them up and ask them for an increase to your limit. And you keep doing that. The more accounts that you have increased and in high limits, the better your credit profile is looking, okay? It is essential to keep using the credit, keep applying for more and talk with credit providers to raise credit limits. If you do this, business credit will keep growing until higher credit limit line, credit lines are obtained within six to 12 months. So people ask me all the time, how long does it take to build business credit, Mr. Booker? <laughs> and my answer to that is, it takes about 12 months, all right? With my company, it takes about 12 months, okay? Now, everybody does this at a different pace because it's about going to get an account, buying an item, paying for the item, track your payment, and all that stuff, right? So everybody does it different times. But I don't want you to think that this is like a situation where we just gonna go run and go get some money. It ain't that, okay? You gotta plot and plan. You gotta strategize, all right? So um, it takes about 12 months. Some people get it done quicker than that, all right? But most people don't, all right? Okay. No skipping steps, 10 trade lines, high limit of $10,000 high limit on your account. Cash business credit accounts will match your highest credit limit reported on your credit profile. You get access to MasterCard, Visa, American Express, and also with business credit, having 10 or more trade lines, the more the better, you can access business loans and credit lines, okay? 
Any questions at this point before we go to the three ways to get funding that your bank won't tell you about because they don't offer that stuff, all right? See, funding a business, most businesses are funded through alternative sources, okay? So at the, at the commercial bank, the only product most of the time the only product that they're going to be able to offer you is an SBA loan, which is extremely hard to qualify for. Okay. So, but most businesses get funding through alternative funding sources. And I'm going to go over a few of them with you. Okay. Any questions? All right. Bet. We're moving forward. Okay. Now, I'm going over these with you, you because I want you to understand the thought process. You may be able to qualify for these now. You may not be able to qualify for these now. But I'm going over them so you can have the mental thought process of how to think about funding your business. Okay? So, cash flow financing. Cash flow financing is the most popular type of alternative funding today. These are cash advances that look at bank account management for approval. If you have more than $10,000 in deposits per month, you can get approved just like that. You don't need credit. All you need is your bank statement showing that you got this cash flow, okay? This is the fastest and the easiest money you are going to find to secure money. Now, I also want to say that this cash flow financing is really for existing businesses. It's not for everybody. Okay? Because, and this is really popular one, because existing businesses all the time come into situations. They might need to meet, meet their payroll or they may have a piece of equipment that went down and they need to replace it like right now. So this is how they do that, all right? They got cash flow already. So the lenders see this as he can pay that bill, okay? You must manage your bank account responsibly and have consistent deposits. You can typically get as much as 12% of the annual revenue advanced, okay? This is high risk, okay? So it costs a little more than the regular. But like I said, this is not for everybody. This is for existing businesses that might be in a situation, okay? Collateral-based financing. Collateral-based financing can be obtained if you have some type of viable collateral to offset what you are borrowing. Even as a startup with bad credit, you can still secure collateral financing if you have collateral. Rates are super low, much lower than with the conventional SBAs, okay? Because they know they can get their money back off of the collateral. So this is low risk to them, all right? Here goes some um, acceptable um, collaterals that you can use to get funding, okay? Um, accounts receivable. Accounts receivable is also known as factoring, okay? So my client Jay, remember my client Jay I was telling you about? He has a trucking company and he uses factoring to fund his business. So he got, all right, Vince, bet. He uses factoring to fund his trucking business, okay? And so he got a truck. The truck makes a delivery, right? The truck makes a delivery, then he sends an invoice to get money for that, for that delivery, right? So what he does is he sells his invoice and gets paid in 24 hours. Not everybody could do this because you have to be in a business that 
you can batch and sell your invoices like that, right? Um, purchase orders, that's like for government contracts. Government contracts, that's like straight money to a banker, all right? To the right company, a, co a, a, a um, government contract is straight money. So you have to find the right lender. You go to the right lender with your government contract and say, yo, I need to get this piece of equipment so that I can satisfy this government contract. To them, that's like straight money. They know that check is good. So that's an easy way to get funding for your business. And my company handles all these type of funding options, okay? And stocks, bonds, and 401ks. Now, these type of investments, they stay intact. Like for instance, the 401k, you can get a business loan on what you can take out of your 401k. Your 401k stays right there. It does what it do, right? But you can get a business loan on that. And see your 401k, what that actually is, is you go to work, they take money out your check and they send it to these other businesses and they make money on your money. <laughs> okay, so hey, my idea here is that if you got a 401k, you can use your money to get a business loan, all right? Um, revenue lending, that's the same as cash flow lending, inventory and equipment. So if you have over $100,000 in inventory or equipment, you can get a business loan on that. So if grandpa got a tractor, you can get some loan, some loot, all right? Real estate, if you have equity in your home, you can get a business loan. Insurance agents have what they call a book of business. That's their list of clients with their book of business, which is to a lender, a, another potential stream of income for you, you can get a lot, you, you can get business credit on that, okay? Okay, unsecured credit. Unsecured credit is credit-based financing is a great way to get money for your business if you have good personal credit or know a guarantor that does. So if you have good personal credit, then that helps you get business credit faster, okay? You can secure credit up to five times the amount, um, five, five times of what your highest revolving limit account has now. So what they do is they look at your personal credit, they look at your revolving accounts, and the revolving account with the highest limit, they will match that five times on five credit cards, up to $150,000, which means if you have a Home Depot card for your personal, you can get, and that Home Depot card got a $30,000 limit on it, then that means you can get a loan, you can get five cards with $30,000 on them, up to 150,000, okay? And um, like I said, I use this as a strategy for building business credit. These accounts here, they approve you for the account using your personal credit, but they report to the business credit reporting agencies, okay? Which means you can get these and you, you can skip the net 30s, all right? But I tell my clients that we still gonna do the net 30s, but we get these credit cards and when we get the accounts that need paid, those net 30 accounts that need to be paid, then we pay them with these five credit cards. And now you're getting business credit real fast. Did you get that one? Did y'all catch that? That was a, that's the advanced one right there. I ain't gonna lie. 
The rates are usually 0% for up to six to 18 months. This is no dot funding, so even startups can qualify. Accounts report to the business credit reporting agencies. That's the key to these cards. They report to the business credit reporting agencies. Sweet deal, okay? We also offer private money loans, okay? So we got companies that just got money they sitting on and they're looking for the right idea to invest in, okay? We have venture capital and equity financing, okay? This is like the Shark Tank where they're looking for a profitable business, a growth business, and when they invest in your company, they take a piece of your company, like Shark Tank. Crowdfunding, you all know about crowdfunding. You can even get specialized funding to buy equipment, signs, and vehicle wraps, right? So, bus it. My client named Jay, right? Remember I tell you about my client, Jay? He has the freight company, right? So I was seeing that $250,000 hit every time I did a website, right? Okay, so this is what happens. I found out that what he was doing was this. He got a freight company and he's gonna go get a loan to buy some trucks. Trucks are equipment. See, there are companies that only do equipment loans. Trucks or equipment, okay? So he was advanced at this though, okay? But check it, he got the freight company. And then he got another company out here that is a truck sales company, okay? So he go gets the loan and when he gets approved for the loan, they cut a check to the truck sales company. That's his own company. So he figured out how to get that check that's supposed to be for buying trucks. He figured out how to just flip that into a straight loan and just keep the money, okay? And now he got a loan for 250, right? Now, but he was like so advanced at this that he never even paid the bills. He didn't pay off the loans, he just took the money. Because if you go in default with a business, they can only come for the assets of the business. They can't come to you personally. See, so after it was all said and done, I figured out what he was doing. This is all he does. He has about four or five of these deals on the table at any given time. Just getting money, straight money. And don't pay off the loan. Okay, because he got a position right, because he's advanced at this, right? So it's like everything he does is legal, but it's not moral, right? See, me, I'm just trying to figure out how to get money so I can operate my business. The idea that I have, right? I ain't, I'm not out here to try to jerk nobody off their money, right? I'm just trying to do my business legit. So I don't teach um, those shortcuts like he does, but that's how I found out business credit works. Okay, it works and you can do it the real way. That's what I teach you, step-by-step. Step. Build up your trade lines. That's how you do business credit. He was doing those shortcuts. They work for the short term, not for the long term. They only work for the short term. He got those deals and, is, and keeps moving, okay? That's how I know business credit works. It's, it, business credit is real. Hashtag that shit. <laughs> okay, we getting ready to get out of here. All right, just give me a couple more minutes. Um, how to easily get business credit and financing all in one place the business credit builder. This is one of my clients, Brian, he's from New Jersey. On my website, at the bottom of each page, 
there are a number of testimonials from my clients that tell you about how the system works, okay? It's the easiest and the fastest way to get money and credit to build and grow your business. It's just a simple solution. Hmm. Okay, you get business credit for your business, not linked to your social security number through the top selling business credit system. You get access to funding for your business to start, build and grow. Our cutting edge technology helps you meet credibility requirements before you apply. That's a crucial piece right there. You can access discounted uh, business credit reports. Remember I told you about that? Um, you get the largest supply of starter vendors to start your business, to start your business credit. You get a massive selection of revolving store credit with underwriting guidelines. You get our hard to find cash credit sources you can get within 120 days. No personal credit check or guarantee is required. Cash flow, you get access to cash flow financing, collateral based financing, unsecured financing, private money, alternative SBA, venture capital. Our most popular product is the unsecured credit lines where we give you those credit cards, right? And we also have a 10 year loan, term loan that's pretty popular as well, okay? Now, when you sign up with my core package for building business credit and accessing loans, you get your own control panel, okay? The control panel looks similar to this but it doesn't have all these buttons on the left because it's like my reseller account, right? Okay, so um, let me see. In this, in, the sec in this section, right, it gives you a course content, okay? So it teaches you step-by-step step in the order that you need to do, building your business credit. Okay, uh, each step will give you instructions on how to complete the step. Each step will have a video on how to complete this step. And if you still can't figure it out, we have advisors on deck that will help you complete this step. Or you can call up the advisors and say, yo, I'm confused, what I need to do, all right? so. You have concierge service with our advisors to help you build your business credit. You will not be alone, okay? When it comes to the part where you have to do vendors, right? Get these accounts. We build business credit in tiers of vendors. So each tier, we give you about 15 vendors and we tell you to select three. And this is the information you get for each vendor. This is for Racetrack. They report to Dun & Bradstreet. Their, revolve, their terms are revolving. We give you the telephone number, the description of what they sell. And we tell you how to qualify before you apply. So for Racetrack to qualify, you need an EIN number, a DUNS number, a PAYDESS score of 78, preferred three years in business, business entity, and you need your telephone number listed with 411. See, I already told you all that stuff, so you know when to apply and when not to apply. Hence, you are not wasting time, all right? We give you the vendors, in the order that you need them, all right? And there's a button right on the page that you can apply, all right? Okay, here goes Christine. Christine is one of my clients. She was able to get all of these um, credit accounts without using her social. 
and she did it in six months. Not everybody could do that though, all right? She's a stay at home mom. Her husband is a truck driver. So she's able to do this all day and make sure that she builds her business credit. Not everybody could do this in the time that she did it in six months, but everybody can do this, okay? She got Sprint 2000, Amazon 4500, tried to supply 5000, Exxon 5000, Fuel Man Fleet 6000, BJ 7000, BP 8000, Lowe's 10,000, Apple 12.5, Shell 15. Whew. See, this total, this list here is over 250. Okay? And look at PNC. That's PNC Bank. She got a $150,000 credit line, which is different than a credit loan, a business loan. Okay? So, she only pays interest on what she uses of that 150, okay? And she told me also, had she used her personal credit, that would have been 250,000, okay? Your own business credit advisor who offers concierge service, 12 months to help you build your business credit. All right, we're gonna give you concierge service. You will not be alone at build, building your business credit. All right, you get your own finance officer. The finance officer will make sure you get the best financing for your business, which means he's gonna go over the different options that you have, the terms for each one, the interest rates, the payment terms, how long the length of your payments will be, okay? So it goes over all the pros and cons for everything that you qualify for. And if you go through my system, you will qualify, no doubt, all right? But you gotta go through the steps, step by step. Each step is needed for the, to get to the next step and there's no skipping steps, all right? Okay, here's a quick summary and we're gonna get out of here. You get your very own business finance suite control panel, discounted business credit reports, free Dunn's number, largest supply of starter vendors, massive selection of revolving store credit, hard to find cash credit sources. You get access to cash flow, collateral based, unsecured, and private money sources. This will typically take you about 18 to 24 months if you do this on your own, okay? So with us, we save you time, all right? We're not gonna have you going off the, off the track, steer you directly to building your business credit as fast as you can, okay? Um, I offer two different packages. The core package is exactly what I explained to you. You get your control panel, the advisors, the finance team, okay? You get, okay, on my other program is the business credit building program. That is a one-on-one -on -one consultation for one year, okay? And you don't get in the, in the um, control panel. But I got access to the control panel and the advisors. So I'm helping you build your business credit, me and you. All right, get started today as part of this seminar and you can get started with a huge discount on our premier enrollment plan, which usually starts at, is usually cost you $4,400 for this type of stuff. Actually, you cannot even find a company that builds business credit and has access to hundreds of lenders all in the same place. We can't find this, okay? Our price is $29.95. Because you came into a webinar, you get $500 off. Boom. So your price is $24.95. You can pay that one of two ways. You can put $1,500 down and make six payments of $165, or 
you can make a single payment of $22.50. That's the best value because you saved $750, right? Boom. Um, the one-on-one -on -one package, right? This is where you get consulting for one year directly with me. This type, this type of package retails for $2,500. My price is only $995, okay? Deposit, you can make a deposit of $400 and make three easy payments of $195, or you can make a single payment of $750 and save $250, okay? That's the move right there. I also got eBooks that you can get from my website, all right? These are pretty good eBooks as low as $10, all right? So I'm down for you. I'm trying to let you know, give you the info you need to make it happen, all right? And how to start, all right? Get started now and schedule a consult, all right? You go to my website, businesscreditbuilder.us slash consult. And we're going to schedule a time to talk about building your business credit and accessing business loans and credit lines. Make sure you check out my um, social media platforms and everybody on social media. Make sure you click that follow and you know the subscribes and the likes and you know you know what I'm talking about right you know what I'm talking about all right all right everybody if you got any questions we can entertain them now um make sure you schedule your free business credit, business credit consultation and if you have any questions then we can entertain them right about now and was this useful? Was this useful at all? Can you use the info? What? Okay. No questions today. All right, Rachel is in there. You, you hung in there, Rachel. You hung in there for real. <laughs> very informative. Thank you very much. I hope you can use the information, all right? No doubt, I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah. Ah, oh, Chris, he, he says he appreciates the game. I ain't, I ain't mad at you, player. I, I ain't mad at you, player. <laughs> All right, Rachel, you have something to say? All right, y'all. All right, I appreciate y'all coming. And, um, you know, we do this once a week. Tell your friend. Tell your friends we kick game once a week. <laughs> All right. All right. If y'all got some questions, y'all can run them. And um, that's how we do it. No doubt. No doubt about it. Yes, sir. All right. Thank y'all for coming. We're going to end this presentation. Y'all have a good night. Thank y'all for coming. Everything's all love. One.